Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Game Boy Advance games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. On screen right now, you can see me playing some Pokemon. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up the Play Store on your Android device. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're going to be downloading and installing two apps from the Play Store. The first one we're going to be searching for is RetroArch. This is going to be a free multi emulator for your Android device. In this case, we're going to be using it to play game by games on our phone. The first thing we're going to do is get this installed. Once this is installed, the second thing we're going to be searching for is another free app, which is Z Archiver. Z Archiver is a great compression and file management tool I'd recommend having on your Android device regardless. Once you have both apps installed, we're going to be ready to get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up Z Archiver for the first time. And if this is your first time opening this up, you will have to allow access to read your phone storage. We're going to be locating games with this app a little bit later on, so you will need to allow this. From this point, what we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the very, very top. As this is our first time opening this app, we currently have none. So what we're going to be doing is clicking the download a core option at the very top. So what we're going to be doing is scrolling down here until we see Nintendo Dash Game Boy Advance. In this case, we're going to be looking for the one that says Beetle GBA in brackets. As you can see, I have that right here. Once you've found this, all you need to do is click on the core. Some text will appear at the bottom, and once the text disappears, your core will be installed and it's ready to be loaded. From this point, we'll click back on the top left. We're going to be clicking back into load core, and then we're going to be loading the GBA core by simply clicking on it. Now that we have the core loaded, we're ready to back out of here and talk about our games. In this case, we're going to be using Z Archiver to extract our games depending on the format that they come in. So right now I'm in my GBA folder where I have my games currently downloaded. So in this case, I have my Pokemon FireRed.zip. At this point, I will mention I'm not going to be showing you in today's video how to download games. But games are really, really easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out. But your games will most likely come in a .zip or a .rar format. And that's where Z Archiver comes in. We're going to be taking the games out of this and we're going to be looking for .gba game files. So all you want to do to extract your game is click on your game once. We have two options then to click extract here, which is going to extract it in its current location or extract dot dot dot. And you can choose then where to extract it. In this case, I already have a GBA folder, so I want to extract it here. And then your game will be extracted and you can see right here we have a .gba game file. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So from this point, you can delete your .zip file if you wish. It's no longer needed. We're just going to be using the GBA game file. And now that we have our GBA file, we're ready to go back to RetroArch. In this case, I already have my core loaded, so I don't need to do anything with the load core option. I can simply click load content here in the bottom. In this case, I know my game is in my GBA file. And you can see I have my Pokemon Fire Red ROM right here. It's the .gba file. If I click this open, your game will then launch. If your phone is on auto rotate, you'll be able to turn your phone to the side right now. As you can see, we're playing the game. All the on-screen controls show up here and everything should work just fine. So to exit out of our game and bring up the in-game menu, we can click on the RetroArch icon in the top middle. And here we can get some more content. What I'm going to be doing is clicking close content, which is going to close the game. And we're going to be going back and looking at some settings. To enter our settings, we can click on the cog wheel on the bottom right. And here we'll get some information on options on the video, audio, input, etc. To change the video options, scaling, different options like that, you can come into the video setting. Of course, you can experiment around to see what gives you the best result. Normally, by default, it's pretty good. There is one thing I want to show you, though, which is in the input tab. And if we scroll down here a little bit, we'll see port one binds, port two binds. And this is where you can set up an external controller. So if you connect the controller via Bluetooth to your phone or Android device, you'll be able to set that up here, bind all the controls, and it'll make the gaming experience much better. So I would recommend doing that. But anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play Game Boy Advance games on your Android device. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving links down below to my PayPal. If you found these videos helpful and you want to support me, Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.